you see the you see this hat? You see this hat? You you see this hat? Look what the look at what that says. It says bird day goral. It's my birthday. Hey guys, what is up? It is Karen, aka Cakes by MBK, and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you know, it is Wednesday, and guess what? It's also my birthday. It's Tuesday, so it's yesterday. So technically, it's not yet my birthday, but you know, we're we're just gonna we're just gonna say it's my birthday for the sake of this video and for the sake of me getting um. <laughs> attention. I thought what better way to celebrate my birthday than with all of you guys, all 1,377 I think of you guys. And we're going to talk about my favorite products from the month of March. Yes, because it's April, because my birthday is April 3rd. Gosh, get it together. But we are going to be talking about a few favorites. March wasn't really the month of discovering new products. It was more about rediscovering what I already had and falling back in love with it, which in my opinion is almost as good as trying new products because, you know, I, I saved money because your girl is broke. There are a couple of new items in here which I'm also super excited to tell you about, but I'm gonna quit blabbing like I always do and we're going to jump into the faves. All right, I'm gonna start off with some old favorites first. And the first one is a little bit unconventional, I would say. It is related to makeup though. I do use this quite a lot now. This is my CC Beauty Professionals palette. This is really similar to the Makeup Forever Flash palette, but you know, like I said before, it, <laughs> your yeah, girl is broke. So I found mine on Amazon and I just found this through like a random like face paint palette search. Some of the shades do stain though, so if you are wanting to try this out, beware of that. This pink shade in particular, ooh, that'll 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 get you right there, but the rest of the shades are okay so far in my experience. I really love this for creating more artistic looks. I've been really diving back into doing more of like the artsy fartsy stuff on my Instagram. So pretty recently I used this in a makeup look that I posted on my Instagram. I'm going to post it right here, shameless self-promotion, which if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you really should. I'm really consistent on there now, which I mean, I'm really proud of because that was one of my New Year's resolutions was to be consistent with my Instagram, but I've really been pouring more effort into my looks, which is another favorite of mine because for the longest time, like over a year, I was really stagnant and I don't know, something in me just like clicked, but I've really been loving this recently. It's so versatile. They are oil-based, so they come off pretty easily with like a face wash or like a makeup remover. And it's just overall a really versatile palette. You can mix any of the colors in here to get your perfect color. And it's just like, oh, I love it so much. I, I love it. Next product that I already had in my collection was the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I am in the shade Medium 28, and I forgot how much I love this concealer, and I don't know why, just because probably I've been trying out new makeup so often, but this concealer is, honestly, it is that girl. It has a really natural finish. It's not too matte, not too dewy, and it's not drying on my under eyes. I find that my under eyes are pretty normal and sometimes a little bit dry if I don't moisturize properly, but this formula is amazing. I have not heard a single bad thing about this concealer from anybody who has tried it. Honestly, the shade range is amazing. Price point is awesome. This is only $6. Like, Six. The only downside though is that it does separate a little bit, but you know, I mean, it's only $6 and I don't really mind swirling it around every time I use it. And it's just like, ooh, the most beautiful finish. It blends seamlessly and oh, yeah, 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 you need this, you need this, you need this. My next two products have to do with eyes and I'm going to start off by talking about this P. Louise base right here. I did a video testing this out a few months back and I will link it down below in the description. And I went off of this for a while just because I wasn't really seeing, you know, that much of a drastic difference in my makeup looks and especially like my eyeshadow looks. So I just started using like concealer and anything else in my collection. But recently I went back on this for more of my colorful looks and I recently reached back for this because it's really good for pressed pigments and if you guys follow me on my Instagram you know that I use the James Charles palette a lot like 
oh my gosh, it's my favorite palette of all time. And there are two pressed pigments in there and this eyeshadow base works flawlessly with those. It really, I, there's something about this. I've talked about this before. It's like, I don't know what kind of magic they bottled up in here. P. Louise, um, it just stays so tacky and sticky. The shadow adheres to it so, so well, which oh, is just flawless. I know I've talked about this pretty recently and I was saying how the international shipping is one of my biggest gripes with it, but she said she's looking to have a retailer in the States pretty soon, so I am like pumped. My next item is a pair of eyelashes and these are in the shade Chocolate Souffle from Crave Lashes. I have them upside down in the packaging, but whatever. Recently, my best friend Annie, she works out a lot and she met somebody while she was working out who is the creator of this lash brand. Her name is Jen. She is so sweet. I've worn these in probably every single one of my makeup looks since then. I have two more pairs in this exact style because they are so amazing. I'm gonna insert some photos of me wearing the lashes over here. They are full, they are fluffy, they are glam, but not too glam, and they're not really that long, which I personally love because I don't really have a lot of lid space, and when I wear lashes, I don't want them to cover up the makeup, so that's why I really love these. If you are a beginner, though, it, you might have a slightly tough time with them. I had a tough time with them when I first use them just because the band is really thick but after a while it just got more pliable and I swear every time I wear them they just get better and better because it is getting more of that flexibility and it's just easier to put on but oh my gosh like I'm gonna wear these for my birthday festivities I'm breaking out a new pair so I would really really highly recommend them and they're amazing price point. I'm gonna link their site down below so you guys can browse. They also have very natural lash styles as well. So if you are a beginner, they definitely have something for you. And if you are a makeup professional, like they got something for everybody. Next is a complexion product. And I just did a video on this recently, but I already love this to death. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. I have the shade 400 Macadamia. And I will link this video down below. I did a full eight hour wear test, first impressions, demoing. I did a sponge and a brush and it looks beautiful with both a sponge and a brush, spoiler alert, but it's so lightweight and it lasted on my skin practically for the entire eight hours that I wore and I was walking around in the sun and whatnot. I'm not gonna talk too much about this. I'm just going to link that video down below so you guys can check it out. My next two products are from my girl, Anastasia. I know you guys have been seeing the launches everywhere and I finally got my hands on my products. I went home for spring break and I decided to ship my products to home and then it ended up not getting there until I got back to school so I had to wait like two weeks before I got my product. That's why this is coming at you a little bit late but I absolutely love these two. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel and I have the shade dark brown. I'm wearing it today on my brows and oh, you guys know I love my boy brow but that one does tend to get a lot of buildup and the wand on this is just so slim and it doesn't deposit that much product which I am a huge fan of. The consistency is more of a liquid rather than a gel so that kind of contrasts with my Glossier boy brow but I'm going to zoom you guys in so you guys can see how fluffy my brows are. Look at that fluff right there. Oh my god. Gosh. I will say it doesn't hold my hairs up as well as my Glossier Boy Brow, but I do love it for different reasons. It's super lightweight, and what I've noticed is that it's so long lasting. I will take a makeup wipe to my brows and I will wipe them down, and I swear there will still be product on my brows unless I take face wash and just like scrub them off. Like it's that long lasting. And the last product I have is also from my girl Anastasia. This is the So Hollywood Loose Highlight. First of all, can we just talk about this packaging? Like, oh my gosh. And it's also a lot bigger than I expected it to be. I don't know why I expected it to be smaller than this, but it came and I was like, whoa, this is huge. But it's just like such a pretty golden color. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh, it is 
blinding. Like when I first got it and when I first applied it, I did not expect it to be that blinding and I put way too much on. So forewarning, if you're going to try any of these highlighters out, I will have to say that I find this shade to be a little bit too dark on my skin, like really slightly too dark. I would really love if they came out with more shades because right now they only have three and I believe one of them is like a pinky iridescent one. So they really only have like two wearable shades for every day, but I would love to see them expand the range. I can't get over that. I cannot get over that. It's just so blinding. And that's me like barely tapping my finger into the little, what, is, what did I just do? That's me barely tapping my finger into the component. So I, mm. If you are a highlighter fiend, you need these. All right, you guys, so that concludes this video of my March favorites. I'm sorry I didn't have that many new products or a lot of products in general, but like I said, March really wasn't the month of trying new things. I just, Mar March had a lot going on to say the least. But that is it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good good, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.